Anne was just lovely. She helped her, she took over. She was compassionate, she was caring. She listens to what you want. She puts everything into her job. From the moment I met her, I knew that we would become lifelong friends. Bev trusted me. She knew I'd look after her mum, mum being very, very special. My mum was a real character. She was outgoing, she was extrovert. She was, she was funny, she was witty, she was a pain sometimes. She was a terrible flirt, but she was beautiful so she could be. We, we helped her through a very difficult time. And again, being a friend as well, um, we had laughs and we had tears together and we, we got through it. When we had the meetings, we had a few meetings. It was like she knew my mum for years because obviously I used to tell her about her and, and it gave me comfort to talk about my mum. She would ask questions and I would happily tell her, you know, what she was like and, and Anne listened. It's a very raw time for people. People are on this roller coaster and they don't really understand it, but being able to talk to somebody who they know, and I think that's just, just, so, just so important. It was very important to myself and my family to give her a fantastic send-off and she went out in style, and she would have liked that, definitely. Bev said she wanted her mum's coffin covered in flowers. Bev's friend did the flowers, and she, she bought them in, and it covered the coffin, but it wasn't good enough, so the florist um, and myself were putting more of these pink orchids in. So it was this cascade of orchids that came down in pink, and my gosh, it was the best, best coffin spray I think I've ever seen. The coffin was absolutely covered and it was beautiful um, and she didn't have to do that you know that's not part of her daily duties but with Anne you get a hundred times more than what you ask for. Anne is the type of person that she's totally dedicated to her job. If I was ever feeling down, you knew that you could rely on her to call her any time in the day. I'm there at the end of the phone um, for them. It doesn't take five minutes to say hi. She's tailor-made for doing the job that she does. You know, when I close the door and walk home, it just doesn't take half an hour. It can take up to an hour sometimes because people will stop me and just say, oh, you know, um, thank you, or they've got a problem, or somebody's not very well. She does so much for the community here in West Wickham. She goes above and beyond anybody that I know. Being part of the community is just so important because people will pop in. It's not just about funerals. It's that I bring the shop out into the high street for the people and the people just know that they can come in um, to see what's going on and see if they can help as well and I always try and bring her in some raffle prizes because she does numerous charity events. Everybody knows her in West Wickham. She's famous. The way she works and the, the, the job that she does is second to none. Really, she's one of a kind. In my opinion, she's a living angel. It's a privilege to, to be that part of their family. And I've become part of their family. <laughs>